Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. I just spent uh, a good, I don't know, 40 minutes decorating this meticulously um, and then realized as I went to go turn off the camera that it did not record. I didn't record it at all. So instead of a plan with me today, you're getting a already set up April video. I'm filming this way in advance anyway, so by the time you're even seeing this, it might not even be super interesting or relevant, but anyway, I mean, whatever, it's April. Happy April, everybody. Um, this is the month uh, leading up to my due date, so a lot of the stuff on here, it's basically, like, this is the month I'm on maternity leave before the baby comes. Um, he is due at the very, very end of the month, and I am off starting, like, I ha I'm working on the first and then I'm off for maternity leave. So my to-do list is like getting stuff ready for the baby. Um, my tracker here, my monthly habit tracker is all um, like home labor prep slash induction method stuff. Um, please do not take anything that I have written here and the dates that I have decided to start doing them as medical advice. Do your own research. These are the dates that I've decided that I will start doing these different things. Um, my goals for the month are prep for baby and spend quality time with the older kids before he gets here. And then almost all of the events on here are doctor's appointments. <laughs> so it's, um, it's pretty single track mind, uh, really. The thing that I'm most um, urgently wanting to do is organize the closet in the nursery because I realized only just like a couple of weeks ago that uh, we didn't actually have space for the baby's stuff at all. So I was able to sort of reorganize some stuff in my room to make, uh, to empty out a drawer for him and for his stuff um, in our room for easy access because he'll be sleeping in the room with us for the first like four months or three months. Um, four months, I guess. But I'm also going to keep the bulk of his stuff in the closet. So I actually posted um, an Instagram photo a while back, uh, March 16th. Um, it's actually the day I'm filming this, which is why I know that. Um, but you can go back to my Instagram account and see like my plans for what that looks like. Um, but as this is coming out, it's actually still in the future. So I will maybe post some something about it at some point. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, comment below. Uh, how that turned out. I'm going to be getting like a, a drop bar to put my three-year-old's clothes lower where she can reach them and then, you know, leave the, move her sister's clothes over. I'm going to move the blankets from a drawer that, that never, we never opened to the closet where at least we can see where the blankets are and then leave those drawers for the baby. I think it will work. Um, but we actually have, oh, I should actually put that here. We're having a baby shower sprinkle. I'll, I'll put, I'll put baby sprinkle. Um, my, I want to spell this correctly. My mom and mother-in-law very sweetly are hosting something for us to get some boy stuff for um, the baby because we already have two girls and we have very few clothes. So we're going to have um, a little bit of a shower and I'm have on my registry the stuff to organize the closet so I'm not buying it yet and I'm not working on it yet until then so as long as the baby's not super premature and that's the plan is going to be working on that and then also like you know obviously washing clothes setting up the crib stuff like that um I'm going to be spending a lot of quality time with my one and a half year old while my uh, older daughter is in preschool and then this week here is the week that Agnes uh, has off from school this is the Triduum from Holy Thursday through Easter Sunday and then she has Good Friday, like half day Holy Thursday and then Good Friday through Easter week off. Um, there'd probably be a great time for the baby to come, but you know, we'll see. It's probably not going to happen because I'll be 38 weeks then. Um, probably more likely here, hopefully. We'll see. Might be in May. I hope it's in April. <laughs> I just don't want to have to feel the pressure uh, from my doctors because they don't like the idea of uterine rupture, which fair, but like I have already had a successful VBAC, so I'm confident that everything will be fine. Um, that's basically, that's the setup. Um, on the front, there's the freebie dashboard, some ink 
leaking through. That's not a big deal. On the back, I needed something to print here because I didn't want to just waste the space. So I put a package tracker because I figured I will probably be making lots of Amazon orders and stuff um, for baby stuff that I didn't get at the shower, that kind of thing. So that's what I'll put here. Um, that is insert 13, by the way, and this is insert 64. And this one I think is insert it's this one came with like the original drop this one is the undated monthly um if you scroll way down on my site to the the very first undated monthly um and so this is the same combo of inserts that I've been using for the last at least I used it in April did I use it in uh I don't remember if I used it in I mean if I I know I used it in March I'm using it in March right now I don't know if I used it in February I don't think so um, but it's working really great in March and um, using the habit tracker as a sort of like do every day to do list I think is a good idea here um, because this is like this is the only way to stay sane when you're heavily heavily pregnant is pretending that you have any kind of control over it so these are the lists of things that I'm allowed to do and when obviously I'll also be doing a lot of walking and everything else at least as I <laughs> am able to uh, probably going to the park a lot with my one and a half year old who is one and a half the day I'm filming this so very belated by the time you get around to it but yeah there you go that's everything I'm sorry I didn't film properly I was gonna like do a voiceover anyway so <laughs> yeah uh I'm trying to film stuff in advance like I said um if you have requests for videos you can always let me know because I might be able to slot those in um, places, replace some things that weren't as good quality. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot less like plan with me stuff um, and more like plan in advance stuff as well as a couple like vlogs and things um, because I'm trying to, you know, make it easier on myself when I am in the middle of all of this. So I hope that you enjoyed this short and sweet little overview of this setup for April 2022. Um, I hope that your lives are going great, and I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday if you subscribe. See you then. Bye.